Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Welcome to my video series, Mastering Affinity Photo. In this video, I want to talk about the overlay tools that are found in Affinity Photo. Overlay tools are local adjustments. There's a local adjustment brush tool and a local adjustment gradient tool. And of course, over here in the right hand panel, the studio, you see that there's a little tab for overlays and you could access either that paint tool or the gradient tool right down here at the bottom. You could see there's little icons and that's to add the brush overlay and that's to add the gradient overlay. You could click there or you could go over to the left hand toolbar and you'll see that there is the overlay paint tool. You'll notice they call it the overlay paint tool over here, but over here they call it the brush overlay. It's the same thing, just they use two different names for some reason. And then over here is the overlay, overlay gradient tool, and then of course over here is that gradient overlay. Same thing. So we'll click on this. And you can see that it adds the overlay. It's like another layer. Those of you familiar with Photoshop are familiar with layers. And all our gradient adjustments will be done on this overlay. So first we have to kind of lay down the gradient. So to do that, you'll notice our cursor turns into a little gradient uh, cursor. You can see that it looks a little different than the normal cursor. And what I want to do is I want to enhance the sky. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put it in at a slight angle. And you can see as I draw it, we have a red overlay going on our image. That's telling us what part of the image are going to, is going to be affected by our adjustments. So I'm going to put it here and you could adjust it and you can move it uh, angle-wise as you wish. And I think that looks pretty good. So once you have it done, you could go over to the other tabs and start doing adjustments for this overlay. Now we'll go to the basic tab and anything you cannot do will be grayed out. And you'll notice that clarity is grayed out. So I can't add any clarity adjustments to the gradient overlay. And you'll notice too that if you go to the lens tab, that's all grayed out. The details tab and the tones tab are grayed out. So we can't do anything with those. But we can do some exposure and some of the enhance adjustments. And what I'd like to do is add some contrast to the sky. So as soon as I start moving a slider, that red overlay will disappear. And we'll be able to better see what we're doing. Also, I think I'm going to bring the black point up. And probably the brightness down just a touch. So there is before and after. So I just enhanced the sky a little bit with this gradient overlay. Now, if we go back to the overlays tab, you'll see we have the gradient overlay selected. If you wanted to go back in and adjust any of the original adjustments to the entire image, just click on the master layer, the master overlay. Then you could come in, you could see that you'll have access to everything and now any adjustments you do will be on the entire image. Now we mentioned that there's another overlay, this brush overlay, and you could access it over here like we did the gradient overlay or you could do it over here. So I'm going to just click it on the left hand panel and we have a brush tool. And you could make the brush tool larger or smaller with the bracket keys, the right bracket key makes it larger, left bracket key makes it smaller. You also could do that right here with this little drop down so you could affect the size of the brush there. You also could affect the hardness of the brush. This is how much is it feathered? Do you want a really distinct edge on your brush or do you want it feathered? By default it's going to be 50% and I think that's going to work well for what I want to do. The beach in this image wasn't really that saturated. So I think I want to take some of the color out of the beach. So I want to use a hardness, a brush with a hardness of 50% and paint on the beach or the sand. Now there's also a choice here, edge aware. 
that works very well if you have a distinct edge and you want to make sure that you're not going to paint over the lines more or less you want to stay in that edge or within that edge that works very well now here we don't really have a distinct edge so I'm going to leave that checked off so I'm just going to paint you can see we'll get that red overlay again and I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to do a really quick job so I'm going to do the outside and for the sake of this demonstration let's say I want to take the saturation out of this building as well so that end building let's go to these end few buildings okay so I have that up there come in here I'll get a bigger brush I'll hit the right bracket key so I can go a little quicker and make sure and I'm sure I'm missing a lot but we'll do the best we can to get just about that entire beach and those couple buildings up there painted so you could see the red overlay is there and it looks like I I got most of the beach right up in there in there so we want to do these adjustments so we'll again anything you can't do will be grayed out and similar to the gradient tool the lens details and tones tabs will be all grayed out and the clarity slider is is inactive or grayed out now you could do any of these adjustments here and I mentioned I just want to take some saturation out of that beach so I'm gonna pull saturation down and as soon as I start pulling the saturation slider down you could see that red overlay disappears now that looks pretty good and that's probably where I want to keep it because that's pretty much what the scene looked like when I was there taking this picture but for this demonstration and just for temporarily I want to bring saturation all the way down so that we have this black and white image you could see I missed some spots if you missed any spots you could just come in now and clean those up but the main thing I want to show you is with the brush tool there is a tool where you could remove the gradient from that specific part of the image if you look over here there's this little like I don't know it kind of looks like a paint can it's the overlay erase tool the keyboard shortcut is Z if we turn that on we still have a brush and we still have the same size and hardness adjustments and the edge aware but what this does it will erase the brush from where we might have accidentally painted for exa example let's just say I accidentally painted these buildings let me kind of straighten this out there we go sorry okay so we'll come in here and see how it's now erasing the brush overlay from that area now unfortunately this tool the overlay erase tool only works with the brush it does not work with the gradient so it will not erase the gradient now you noticed I put that gradient on an angle and it did go over some of the water over here unfortunately I won't be able to erase it from the water because this gradient or this I'm sorry overlay erase tool only works with the brush so I'll come back in here now and adjust this more to my liking say something like that so maybe a little less even like that and that's how to use overlays now again when you go to the overlay tab if you want to do adjustments to the entire image just click on that master overlay so you could now do adjustments to the entire image if you want to delete any overlay you added make sure that overlay is selected let's go to the brush overlay let's say I want to delete that and then go down here and you can see there's a little trash can click on that and you'll delete that overlay so that's how you work with overlays in affinity photo thank you everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon